I've got 20 bucks. I'll trade it for that cane thingy. What, miss? Can't you see I'm blind? Or are you too? Just give me that. Hey, you can't take that. That's my cane. Shut up. I'll give it back to you in a second. I knew there'd be a line. Good morning, ma'am. <laughs> uh, what would you like today? Hi, can I get a 12-ounce latte with oat milk and added cinnamon? One oat milk latte coming right up. Uh, do you need help finding a seat? Uh, excuse me, I may be blind, but I'm not helpless, you know. Right. <laughs> Sounds good. I'll bring your coffee out when it's ready. Here you go. <laughs> Hey, are you busy for a quick chat? I am busy, thank you very much. Oh, I was actually gonna introduce you to someone. He's kind of a big deal around here. And who might that be? I'll bring him over. Just give me a second, trust me, you're gonna love him. Like to introduce you to Mr. Asher. Mr. Asher, this is the customer I just met. Nice to meet you. I'm Dan. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm Katie. You mind if I sit here with you a little while? Mick tells me that you and I have something in common. That's fine. I'll leave you to it then. <laughs> so, uh, Katie, Mick tells me that you're blind too? That's right, I am blind. Oh, I love meeting people who are like me and hearing their stories. Oh, there's not really much to tell, I... Come on now, indulge me. Well, I I was in an accident not that long ago, maybe two years, but I don't like talking about it. No, well, that's all right, I won't pry. So, Mick was telling me how resilient you are. Is it true that you won't let anybody help you till you see? Oh. That was no big deal, I just... I volunteer at a support group. We help people dealing with sudden blindness, and I know how difficult that can be, but you seem to be thriving. Tell me, how did you make the adjustment? Not really thriving, I just sort of got on with it, I guess. Inspiring. Just truly inspiring. I have to ask, would you mind speaking at our next event? Oh, I'm not sure that I... I really think that people would be amazed and inspired by your resilience. I just don't think I would... You wouldn't have to prepare much. Just talk about your experiences, and I think that would be more than enough. I don't know. I, I don't think I would... Everything good over here, guys? Mick, don't you think young Katie here would be perfect for that support group I run? I'm not sure I would have anything. I've been having it right here. I got some flies here. I didn't even take a look at them. The six of... Uh... Uh, yes, you know what? I can do that. What day is it? It's one week from today. Same time, same place. Okay, I can do that. Oh, and uh, Katie. Yeah? Could you maybe prepare a little presentation, maybe some photographs and a little slideshow, something like that? And maybe your family could help you with it. Would your support group be able to see it? I thought they were all... <laughs> Blind? No, no, not all of them. But I'm sure that they would really appreciate the gesture. Great, thanks. See you then. Thanks for getting all this set up for me, Mick. Of course, Katie. Happy to help. Everyone, our special guest is here and ready to share her inspiring story. Everyone, please meet Katie. I may be blind, but Mick here can see perfectly well. And I have a knack for remembering voices. You are outside. You stole my cane. Um. You can see? Yes. You mean you've been pretending to be blind this whole time? I, 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 I That's just. Sick. Yeah, well, I'm afraid some people are like that sometimes. What you did was completely insane. Why would you lie about something like that? Okay, well, I wanted my coffee, and you guys are always busy. I swear I didn't mean to hurt anybody. So you pretended to be blind so you could jump the line? Oh my god. Uh, all right, I'm sorry. I will go. Ow! Ah! Oh. oh, please. Give it a break. No, please. I think my leg is broken. Can somebody call an ambulance? <laughs> <laughs> 
If you're looking for sympathy, you won't find any here. No, get up and stop disturbing the other customers. <laughs> Hold on, Mick. I don't think she's faking. No, look, I told you. <laughs> Hang on. What is it? What leg is it? Oh, my shin, I think. <laughs> Can you move? I don't know. It really hurts. Okay, so you want us to call an ambulance? Please. Call an ambulance. Hi. Yes, I need an ambulance. Carl's Coffee and Cakes on Florence Street. Broken leg, apparently. Okay, thank you. <laughs> we'll be here as soon as possible. Thank you. I hope you learn from this. What? After what you did today, I almost didn't believe you were actually hurt. And you know why? Why? Because lies are never believed, even when they're telling the truth. Remember that. I will. I'm sorry, I just didn't think yeah, obviously you didn't think. You lied to everyone around you, you were selfish, and you pretended to be someone you weren't. I just wanted to skip the line. I didn't mean to hurt anybody. Well, you did. You hurt me. If I didn't put my prejudice aside, who knows how long you'd still be lying there on the floor. Remember that.